All right. Um, <laughs> dude, you know, like uh, in Hot Rod, you've seen Hot Rod, right? Uh huh. With uh, pause. This is the Best Buds podcast. Oh, Brett, sorry. Brett, sorry. Brett doesn't like the introduction. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the Best Buds podcast. Hello. <laughs> I'm Luke. Wait, I'm Brett. <laughs> this is Luke. And My let, name's Luke. Let's begin. Okay. Okay. Can we go back to what I was talking about? Okay. So you see the hot rod, right? Uh, yes. With Andy Samberg and like he's the stunt man. Uh huh. Do you remember the scene where he's like looking at his dad's picture and he's like, "Oh, I miss you, Dad." He's like crying or whatever, and then Kevin walks in the room. He turns around. He goes, "Get out!" <laughs> That's what it's like working here. Yeah, <laughs> like, absolutely. Like you were saying, no knock. They just walk no. in. Like your dad is like, oh, sorry. I'm like, you're not sorry, Kyle. <laughs> oh my god! And they're like, this. You should have told me. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know when you're walking. Let in, me man. communicate telepathically to you that you should stay out of this room. Yeah, majority of the time, and majority of the time in these recordings, there's like four people that walk in. Like literally, I don't even. I did, the, I did it last week. I know. I did it last week. And it's always this face. Sorry, I'm like, sorry. I have a question. <laughs> Can we pause? Pause, pause real fast. Please? Can we pause that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, um. Okay. Well. Oh. What was I gonna say? Oh, I started making smoothies in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um. Run, run me through your your um, smoothie routine. So my I put my I put my little pajama pants on, okay. Okay. And then I put my little sweatshirt on, walk to the kitchen, super tired. Um, oh, with my new shark slippers. Dude, they came in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Cloud sharks. We're, we're not sponsored by them, but they're pretty cool. So you should get a pair. Amazon. Uh, <laughs> um, but anyways, so I'll go to the kitchen and. We have this, like, I guess it's like a knockoff brand. I don't know if it is a knockoff brand, but it's called the Magic Bullet. It's really cool. Oh, like the, the, the blender. blender? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but basically, I'll get my ingredients for my smoothie. So usually I do uh, ice, obviously. Uh, milk, 2% milk. Um, strawberries. Give me some on that, dude. <laughs> dude, screw whole milkers. <laughs> dude, honestly. They're like, but that's fake milk. I'm like, no, it's not. It literally came out of a cow. <laughs> like, it's real. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, sorry. Um, but then I do uh, strawberries and then bananas and then honey and then a big old slab of peanut butter <sighs> for the protein. Yes. yes. It's a great, it's a great nutrition, nu- Nutrition, nutritional yeah. meal in the morning. <laughs> good, good, good breakfast. Would you like add any like protein? Wait, you said protein powder or no? No, no, just that. I just started. I'm kind of a rookie in the mm-hmm. smoothie world. I wanted to get uh, athletic greens, like the no. Joe Rogan thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Another guy who takes it. And he's like, oh, I think I'm gonna start like doing like I don't know, like spinach and carrots with the fruit uh, too. The raw egg. Yeah, raw egg is Rocky. Just, that that is just gnarly. I'm like, Bleh. you know, that's uh, Jesus, uh, Sylvester Stallone or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like when like training for Rocky, like he would do like, I think he said like in the morning like five raw eggs. Dude, I don't know how people are just look at an egg, right? And you're like, oh my god. <laughs> I could eat that. No, no. it's got to be cooked. Like, dude, that's disgusting. It's so gross. I guess it's apparently it's like higher in protein, like it than cooking it. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong on that. But if I'm gonna eat something, I want to eat it. I mean, it's kind of like it's honestly. I feel like it'd be like an oyster. It just goes right down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, I had an oyster for the first time. I've never had one, so. Okay, so, anyway. so let me, <laughs> anyways, go okay. ahead with your experience. Let me run. Okay, so like when you get the oyster, right? You get like a you could use like a chopstick or a fork. Mm-hmm. You have to break the muscle from the shell, right? Okay. Before you like like shotsky, you yeah, know? yeah, like yeah. Uh, so I was I didn't know that, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, bottoms up, juices only, not even the meat, just like 
Rah! And I was like, <laughs> 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 I was like, this <laughs> disgusting, man. <laughs> and then, like, the meat didn't even have any flavor with it. Yeah, my dad said, like, he said, God, leave this freaking mic. Um, my dad said the best way to explain it is it tastes like dirt. Like, it tastes like nothing. Yeah, it's just, it's all, like, it's really chewy. Yeah, I think that's why, like, people put, like... Chewy mud. That's yeah. what I'd call there it. There you go. Chewy mud. You got some chewy muds? <laughs> <laughs> you like chewy mud? <laughs> you like chewy muds? <laughs> <coughs> um, but I think that's why people put, like, salt and hot yeah, sauce on it, them. Give it some... Get a little some some. Give it a little tang. Get a little some some. Um... All right, well, let's see. Big fights this weekend in UFC. Um, Makachev. Yeah, Makachev and Volkanovski. Um, I love Volkanovski, but I think Makachev is going to... I think he. I think he's going to kill him. Dude, honestly. Like, as much as, like, Volkanovski is a, a dog, like a D-A-W-G dog, um... I think Makachev is going to run the floor with him. I don't want them to, like, honestly, like, I would like to watch him stand up and brawl, but mm-hmm. I really don't want to watch him stand up and brawl. See, I that's the see, thing. I want to see, like, takedowns <clears throat> and stuff. Volkanovski doesn't, I feel like Volkanovski doesn't have a chance if Makachev takes to the ground. I think it's over. Oh, yeah. I think it's over if it gets taken to the ground. They're both really good wrestlers, though. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> but Makachev only wrestles. Look what he did to, look what he did to Oliveira, though. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's sad. Like, it's like he oh my God. killed him. I know. That's what happens when you wrestle with bears and <laughs> Dakistan. Have you seen those videos? Yeah, dude. dude they're living, like full-size bears. Yeah. I'm like, my God. I'm like, you're not going to take this man down. You re- I think the closest person to ever take Khabib down uh, was Poirier. I think, yeah, he took him down once. Like, he almost, One like, time. He, almost he had him in a... I think it was just a rear naked uh, choke, mm. yeah. <clears throat> but didn't finish it. Uh, there's a video of like Khabib watching that part, and he's like, "You, you think that I, I tap in front of my father? He's like, my father right there. And he's, like, <laughs> and he's like, you think I tap in front of him? Where's the honor? <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Where's the, where's the honor? Oh uh, Mike. I know, dude. It's killing me. Um I'm just gonna hold it like this the whole time, I guess. Um <clears throat> speaking of that, dude, Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. Com the comedy. <laughs> oh dude. <laughs> that was we we always Okay, so uh if y'all don't know who Bobby Lee is, he's a comedian. And he has this bit to where he talks about how uh, the movie 21, it's about like a bunch of MIT students like learn how to count cards. In like in the movie, they're all a bunch of uh, white students, but in real life, they're actually like majority Asian. Because it's based off a true story. Yeah, based off a true story. And, and uh, he was like, you know what? I'm tired of Hollywood. He's like, I'll just take <laughs> movies with white characters and replace them with Asian actors. And so he's like, I'm going to recreate Braveheart. And he's like, so people wouldn't be able to say his name. They're like, who, <laughs> who, who you fight for? And he's like, William Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's hilarious. He has a whole bunch of funny stories. but He's weird. Yeah, I like him. What is their podcast called? You, with it's with the oh. ginger guy Andrew, Andrew uh, Santino. Santino, right? They have a podcast. Yeah, I forget what it's called I don't though. Know it's called it's a great podcast. They're funny. Um, well, okay. Um, this is difficult. I know. We're usually pretty smooth with it. I know. Not right now. What do you want to talk about? I don't know, dude. Oh, another crazy dream last night. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's hear Brett's dream. Last <laughs> okay. So I'm on the mountain. It's hot in here. Holy I'm, I'm snowboarding, right? Oh. Dude, this is crazy. So we're in this, like, I don't know, this meadow. There's like no trees and it's like a whiteout, right? Mm-hmm. I'm snowboarding along. On the side of the trail, I see a guy. His legs are like broken and he's just like, ah, just like screaming. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my gosh. 
I, I, have to, I have to go help this guy, right? Yeah. And so I like, get off to help, right? I look to my left. There is another guy, broken legs. You get your, doing off the same. your snowboard? Dude, I had to help the, what, I had to help the guy. Well, I'm saying, like, <clears throat> were, you in, were you in, like, deep powder? Like, No, I, I don't know. I was just, I, I guess, I don't know what I was thinking. You're in a little yeah. groom so, section. I'm like, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I hear something else. I look to my left. Same dude, but there's, like, two of them. But no, he's doing the same thing. Ah! And I was like, okay, now I gotta go help that guy. <laughs> like, it's just constant. And so it it happened like four or five times, right? Uh-huh. And like I'm carrying this, I'm carrying one of them. Yeah. I felt bad because I left like three of them behind. But I'm like carrying him down the mountain, and it was like in a movie where they're like, "I won't give up on you." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like I was like, "Don't you give on, mommy? <laughs> don't, don't give up on me, baby." <laughs> it's like uh, I get him to the ski patrol or whatever, right? And then I'm I'm sitting there, right? And then all his family members walk in or whatever, and then he just like gets up and walks away. And I was like. Didn't even was he even hurting? I was like, you motherfucker! It was God. It was God. It was God's plan. He's testing you. Oh, dude, hold on. Let's talk about uh, extreme shopping. Extreme. Oh, this one <laughs> wild. Okay, this one's so, wild. I had a dream, and this will be a future store one day. I hope so, because so, I'm so down. <laughs> dude, I'd be down. I'm down to make it a weekly thing. Like, you're like tribesmen that like yeah. decide to live there, okay. dude. So. I had a dream that, like, I, w- I had to go get some groceries, right? So I'm um, going into the store or whatever, and uh, the store is actually, like, its own natural habitat. Like, the frozen section is, like, an Arctic wasteland. Like, you got, like, sea lions. You got, like, <laughs> defend off, you know? and then Polar like, bears. Yeah, polar bears and, like, shit like that. And then your fruit sections, like the jungle, you got like monkeys. And literally, like in the dream, I'm like with a spear. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm like Jesus. <laughs> and then, um, then like the food, like the food section to where like they serve you uh-huh. is like the Sahara, and like people are like sitting in the middle of the desert, and they're like, Would you like some chicken. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, I get to see a guy. I could see a guy like, uh, or I'd probably be the guy. I would like put my goggles on like my scuba gear mm-hmm. and like it's like a pool it's like a pool but it like kind of goes into the ocean for like your seafood or whatever yeah and like <laughs> say like see one of my friends so like say like hey andrew how was your week <laughs> like with my scuba gear on he's like it was good he's like well uh the family's making uh some redfish tonight he's with some on flounder <laughs> and then i have like a big ass like trident like i'm like all right, you have a good week now, and then you dive into the ocean and go get your seafood. Do you think? Do you think people would go back for a second time? Um, only the brave. Yeah, you got like a hurricane <laughs> section. <laughs> <laughs> only the people, only the adrenaline junkies. You're like hauling the shopping cart through <laughs> that snow. I feel like you'd have to have like a team almost. Like I think you couldn't really do it solo. I think you would need like a. There's, I think you would need to train thing. your family. <laughs> Yeah. Like we're gonna do this every you're, week. You're a baby, a spear. You're like protect daddy. <laughs> He's stabbing monkeys. Hammer. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my uh, I need I need a dream interpreter. Like if I could hire one, you can hire those. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can we? If if you could, but That's cool. If you, my dreams are like screwed up. They're they're really like, bad. Do they have things where? That'd be cool one day, like, if they could, like, um, I don't know, put something on your brain or whatnot, but, like, it would give you a vivid, like, video of your dreams. Dude, my, I wouldn't want people to watch mine. Well, I wouldn't either, but I think I would want to see I'd it. I'd die a lot in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'd die all the time. Really? Yes, all the time. That sucks. I'm sorry. I'd probably die two, three times out of the week in my dream. That's cool. Yeah. I'm either in the grow room <laughs> in my dream, literally I'm just staring out. You just die room. in the yeah. grow room. Or, <laughs> yeah, just die from exposure. Yeah. <laughs> Those lights. Uh, I, or I die, or some like crazy, like uh, catastrophic event like ha- happens or whatever. Like Godzilla comes out of the ground or like whatever. Like unbelievable stuff. I'd never have like a normal dream. 
I guess you have a good imagination, but also like a a dark imagine like a dark imagination. I know, and I don't think I'm that dark. I don't know. I, no. What, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I mean, the stuff that you show me on Reddit. Okay, well, <laughs> dude, Reddit is like the Wild West. I was like, oh, my God. Dude, like last week, I saw a video <laughs> of a guy, and he's like, it's like those alligator, like, uh, like showmen, you know, and they put their hands like in the thing. Yeah. He's literally like shoulder deep in this alligator's mouth, right? Alligator clamps yep. down. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Clamps down. I don't know why, dude. I like. I think that's. I, so, I think that's so stuff. stupid because they know that. Like, I real. I just really think you can't really train those animals. No. You can try so god, goddamn hard, but like it, they are predators. They're not your friend. No, <laughs> they don't. They're like like how they like oh. they like uh like people like with like uh I don't get it like people with like big cats like they like hug them mm-hmm. and everything. I'm like, bro, that thing could eat you so fast. I feel like if you like raised it in cap like captivity to where you raised it from like mm-hmm. a really young age, mm-hmm. I feel like it would have some emotional connection to you. Yeah, but at the end of the day, that is a wild animal. No, like like. It could have a bad day. Yeah, like or like a bear. Like, have you seen the people that own bears? Like, full size Kodiak grizzly bears. Yeah, and like, yeah, like you said, that bear could have one bad day, one bad day. And you're done. He ain't letting you go. No. And there's a video of a guy who swims with him. Like, he has this pool like in his backyard. What? Or yeah, dude, he swims with these like, like two thousand pound Kodiak gri- grizzly bears. Not two thousand pounds, but like I don't, know. I, I don't know. I feel like that's pretty. I think accurate. they're like I think they're like eight hundred. Oh, that was way off. Though. I think I don't know. Oh, but, I have my phone, huh? I'm gonna Google it. But um, what's your what's your guess? I don't know how much a Kodiak bear weighs? I'm gonna take back the two thousand. Okay. I'm gonna go around fourteen hundred pounds. Full size Kodiak grizzly bear. Kodiak pancakes. But dude, you could like on Reddit, you could look up bears. And what did you say? What? What did you say? What was your What was your weight? I was like, like fourteen hundred pounds. Oh, you're close. You're a hundred off. Hey, what are the what are fifteen hundred? Fifteen hundred pounds. Yeah. Hey, not bad. It's a big ass bear. <laughs> that's a that's a big ass mammal. God, dude. And then they stand over ten feet tall. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh how fast can a bear run? Let's see. <clears throat> a grizzly bear, not a speed. Not a black bear. Grizz- I always think of the revenant dude. Oh my god. Bear. Always. Speed. Thirty five miles per hour. Oh dude. You ain't getting away. No. You ain't getting you're away. Done, dude. The moment that you like turn around to run, he's got you. Yeah. Oh. Nature's scary. Dude, imagine. It's beautiful, but man, it can get ugly real fast. I feel like with a like a grizzly bear, you know how people are like get big and go, you know? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't think that'll work. I'm like, well, people that get eaten, I'm like, well, I mean, you're walking in their territory. Yeah, that's literally like if somebody Sorry. walked in your house. Yeah. You'd blow them away, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but instead, they eat you. Yeah, exactly. Alive, just like uh, shark attacks. Like we're gonna kill the sharks because they ate a human. I'm like, first of all, that you were in the ocean, dude. That is its home, where it hunts, dude. I'm just <laughs> like, ah, oh, dude. That would be the worst position. Is like, like you know how like sharks like kind of like nip you first, mm-hmm. like, dude. If I got nipped by one, I'm like, dude, what, am I going to swim? No. Am I going to swim? This, there's no chance. No. It's like I'm a paraplegic in the water. Like, mm-hmm. you might as well be. So, okay, out of the most dangerous sharks, I guess we'll put, we'll put five in this list. We'll put great white, tiger, bull, hammerhead, and what's one more that's considered, I guess... We'll go. I don't know. We'll go. We'll go the fast one, the Mako, Mako shark. Mako shark. 
which one like would you like do you think you have the best chance against? <laughs> I'd say the hammerhead. What? Like, yeah, dude. Dude, when it's coming at you, you like face it right. You know, like a cartoon, you just grab it by by the horns. You just grab it by the horns and just <laughs> Actually, okay, yeah, I could see that. You know? But like a bull shark, that's that's torpedo shape. Yeah. You know? But I feel like I could uh kind of brace myself against a hammerhead. Yeah. And like the the mouth is on the bottom. Yeah. So like you can like You could ride it home. You know? <laughs> <laughs> ride it all the Take way. Take me home, home hammer. Take me home, hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, yeah, I think the at the same time, dude, those things are so cool. I think the hammerheads are probably like one of the coolest like sharks. Just the way like they're like shaped. I think it's dumbest funny. design. I think it's so cool though. <laughs> Stupidest design. Why is it Tell me this. Okay. My head shape is so abnormal. To look at a fish, I have to go. No. Yes. They have sensors on their nose. No, dude, they got eyes, too. I know. Really? If I have to turn like this. <laughs> dude, it's so stupid. They they live, the, so they live their life, instead of, like, normal sight, they live their life with peripheral vision. That suck. <laughs> that absolutely suck. <laughs> Why would I want to be a hammerhead truck? That's like if you're driving a car, and all you can see is... The oh, passenger window, dude, and the dude, window. horrible, horrible. That was, to look, you don't even have to look both ways because you already are. You're like, oh, they're definitely not coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't even do it. That would suck. Yeah, that'd be. Imagine a, if humans were designed that way. Our just ears had, were in the front, you're just, but our eyes were where just, our ears are. You're just hammerheads. Yeah, dude, it's horrible. Dude, I think it'd make building a lot easier though. Building? You don't have to buy a hammer ever. <laughs> bam, bam. <laughs> bam. <laughs> Dude, imagine if like we were designed to where like our ears are where our eyes were, and then like our eyes are on the side. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> ugly, dude. So like where you're saying so you're saying the ears would be where on our like face? Where your eyes are now. <laughs> yeah, so your ears are like facing out. Was it you telling me that you saw a video of like a person like with like a mouth on like the eyes. Oh no, it's it's and, a meme. It's not real. Yeah, no, but I'm it's saying not Reddit, dude. Okay, <laughs> okay. So it's like a video of a guy and he's tasting ice cream. He goes, "Oh, let it simmer, let it simmer," and just like that noise, they put his. That's a ten. They, <laughs> that's a ten. <laughs> and he puts they put his mouth on his eyes, so it's like. But he's got like three little mouths on his face. <laughs> like, <laughs> what in the world? He's like, that's a ten. That's funny. What what about you, shark wise? What <sighs> would I have the best chance against? Yeah. I wouldn't be able to see a Mako, I feel like. Those things are crazy. Um see you made a good point with the hammerhead, but you know, I'm gonna go. I think, I think a bull shark. I think they're the slowest out of all uh. sharks. Yet they have like the biggest mouth. So, what would be your plan? Like, if it was coming at you, like I'm talking, like if you were under the water. And you could see that shark coming straight at you. What what's your plan? Um Do you like put your fist up to brawl or I'm like <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call out to my dolphins. <laughs> like, like, <"Ee!"> ah. <laughs> <laughs> they just start like manhandling the shark. <laughs> Dude, imagine if you were like you see the shark, right? Yeah. But <laughs> put your hands up. Just Boom, you just got to hit in the nose, and it'll get all mad. But, like, at the same time, if it's coming at you, like, full speed, I, I think, like, I think you're screwed. But, like, do you think is there's any scenario that you think you probably could, like, dodge a shark in a way? I wouldn't stick a – you can't, like, stick a limb out. Like, No. I feel like you. it would have to come at you, like – 
I know it sounds torso. So you like your arm, like so you can like yeah maneuver. Well, that's the thing though too. Before it like before it attacks though too, it like puts that shield over its eyes so it can't see. It's just like oh. biting blindly. Yeah. But at the same time, it like does it right before it bites. Yeah. Dude, which I, I think is also. I'd cool. be I'd be shanking my thumb into that eye. Yeah. I watch MythBusters. Or like in the gills or something like that. Or yeah. Like, or something like that. It'd yeah. be gross, but I'm like, I'm being eaten alive. There's nothing more gross than I that. I was like, I'd rather survive. <laughs> Some guy's like, oh, I don't want to touch the gills. It's like, <laughs> dude, you're dying. <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> okay, would you, I don't know. I feel like if I was to like brace myself, I'd put my legs out. I don't want to lose an arm. That's like. I feel like the best I feel like the best thing would be like almost like laying on your back like laying on your back and like not necessarily like just hanging on for dear life but like like dropping like dropping like dropping down on your back and then kicking it in the stomach. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Quote unquote duck under the shark. Yeah. Woo. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and then kabam. Dude, I uh I should have read this like a long, long time ago that um some like naval ship had sunk in in the middle of the ocean, right? Uh-huh. It's like shark infested waters. Yeah. And like all these men like jumped off the boat, right? Mm-hmm. And um their plan there were like thousands of men, right? And uh they're laying. They're laying on their back, and they just. They were told to like, don't move, just float. And like in the middle of the night, they'd hear like screaming because somebody's getting attacked by a shark. But they're like, don't move. And because there's there's hundreds of them, of of people, right? And like they're just like play dead. You get lucky. And I'm like, dude, imagine Absolutely imagine not. middle of the night, you just hear. Whoop. And some guy comes back up screaming, "Help me! Help me!" Dude, because like I think it's like if thrash if you thrash at all, like I think you're screwed. I feel like if you survive that, I feel like you're just. I th- I feel like mentally you're destroyed. And would never after that, dude. That'd be awful. Yes, such a traumatic experience. Wait, are you saying? The guy that did get eaten. So uh, no, uh, no, the, <laughs> like people that survived that. Oh yeah, like coming back on shore and be like, I'm never stepping a foot. God, I'm so glad we don't live by the ocean, dude. I I like the ocean. Too scary, too powerful for me. That is fair. When I look at the ocean. I'm like, if I go out too far, it's just gonna suck me out to sea. Yeah, that actually almost happened to me. I heard that you swim with the current. If if you like being swept out in the other, and like the next wave will bring you back in. Yeah, no, I went out beyond that, dude. No thanks. I got picked up by the Coast Guard. Like that's how what? far we went out. Damn. Wait, where was this? This was in Galveston. So, um, my 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 cousins, I had they they refused to like believe that. Uh, they refuse to believe that they told me this story, but I rem- like I feel like I remember this very clearly. But anyway, so in Galveston, I don't know if you've ever been to Galveston, mm-hmm. but like yeah. they have, uh, it's brown water, and then way out in the distance, it's like blue, like it's mm-hmm. like actual like regular ocean water, water not <laughs> yeah, dirty it's like water, actual water. Yeah. Um, uh, anyways. My cousins had told me when they were, I don't even know, like, I'll go teen, I can't even, like, say, like, exactly what year they were, but I'm going to say, like, teenagers, they're, like, teenagers, they told me that, like, they went out where the brown meets the blue, Mm -hmm. and in all honesty, it doesn't look that far out there, Um, so, like, a few years later, we go to Galveston, and I was, like, I'm gonna do it. Wait, you didn't like no board, nothing. You just oh no, I had my boogie board. Okay, I was like, yeah, dude, no. you got float on yeah, something. No. I had my boogie board, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. And so I go out. 
I'm like, bye, mom. Literally, like, I felt like I was saying my last goodbye. God, dude. <laughs> and you like, you're like, I'm gonna. Do I was it. like, this is. I was like, I think I should be able to get back. Dude. Yeah. So, anyways, anyways, so it's me and my friend, right? And we're out there, and <laughs> we're going, and dude, if I was ever stranded on the ocean. Mm-hmm. That would screw with me mentally because I probably wasn't. I we started to go back because we like realized we're like okay, I this is a lot farther than I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. So we started to go back, but we could not. Yeah, it literally. We won't could let you not go. swim back. It it felt like we were. It felt like we were like not moving, and I don't think we were. We were trying so hard, but that current like was so strong that it kept us out there. So I we're literally laying there. I'm like, I'm gonna die here. Looking at shore, you're like I'm looking gonna die. like literally looking at the shore. I was like, we're gonna die here. My friend's freaking out. I'm like, dude, don't freak out. Just like, accept it. I was like, I was no, like, you want to drown together? I was like, we, like, I was like we, can, I was like, we can't. I was like, we can't freak out. We gotta be calm or whatever. And so we're just like slowly going. I'm getting so tired. Like my, I like my lips are like cracked like i'm getting like beaten down like by the sun and uh we <laughs> i'm like dude, i'm just chilling i'm literally chilling on my i'm like chilling on my boogie like, like my arms over the boogie board and i'm just like laying back and uh just out of nowhere uh this helicopter like flies over us so i'm like oh cool i like waved at it mm-hmm. and uh the coast guard boat comes <laughs> The Coast Guard boat comes uh, and, like, rescues us. And they're like, what the fuck are y'all doing out here? And I was like, well, in all honesty, I was, like, a teenager. I was, like, 15, 16 at this time. I was like, well, in all honesty, I wanted to go where the brown meets the blue. And the Coast Guard looks at me. He's like, you're an idiot. Does it exist? I was like, yeah, I'm realizing that now. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and uh and so he he's like he's like are y'all okay and i was like i could eat i could eat. how long were y'all out there um i think we were out there for like i think like an hour hour and a half Damn. i think it's a lot of paddling yeah um but no <laughs> they asked me like are y'all okay my buddy's like freaking out um, I'm like, you know, I could eat. Mm-hmm. And uh they like just like get in the boat. I'm like, "Hi, right, Captain." And so they like literally uh, they it was like a movie. They literally put us in life jackets. We're sitting in the back of the boat. We're riding in. In shame. Yeah. It's like <laughs> we're riding in and they like get onto shore or whatever and dude like my mom is like my mom's like crying. She's like I thought, I thought for a second I was gonna have one son. God, <laughs> I was like, I was like, I apologize. I was like, I'm very sorry. I was like, you can blame my cousins' names are Corey and Josh. They're like, they're in like their thirties now. Just wanted to see the blue. Mom. I was like, I was like, I wanted to go where the brown meets the blue. Corey <laughs> said, Corey said they touched it. They said they touched it. <laughs> it's so weird. And so. Uh, Next time we like had like a family thing or whatever, she's like, "Do you know what your cousin did?" Uh, Corey, he's like, "What?" And uh, they're like, "You're." He tried to touch where the brown meets the blue. He's like, "I never did that." And I like, I, and like I look and I looked at and I looked at him and I was like, "You're a liar." I was like, "You lied to me." He's like, "I never told you that story." I was like. You did? You lied. <laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> I was like, you're the reason for why I almost died. So did you actually know that that happens with uh, fresh and salt water? Like, yeah. Yeah. So like we were in uh, Port Aransas. So literally like right by yeah. Galveston. Yeah. And um, we're fly fishing for uh, like redfish, like mm-hmm. ta- tailing reds. Yeah. And it's probably like, I don't know, knee deep water. It's not, not deep at all. Like we got waders on or whatever. And... Um, like there's a storm in the background and um we are standing like I, I had one 
foot on the line. Like it is a distinct line of fresh water where it meets salt water. Mm-hmm. It's literally like if you got a pencil and drew a line. They don't merge together. No. And so like you had like a shrimp bucket, right? Mm-hmm. If your shrimp went into the fresh water, they'd die. Yeah. And so like you had to stay on the salt water side. Yeah. Right. But it was cool because like we had this storm in the background. There's a picture somewhere. But um yeah, I mean I, I didn't know that. That like Well yeah, because the water in Galveston, that brown like murky water, it comes from the Mississippi River. Mm-hmm. And so the Mississippi River, like there's like uh it's a very like oil tanker type of river. Uh huh. Um and so that's like it's a mixture of fresh water and oil. Oh. Um, obviously not like drastic yeah. oil spills, but like there's like little yeah. bits and pieces of oil. Mm-hmm. So that's another reason why it doesn't mix out oh. there. But that's weird. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's also why it's so dirty too. Cause the Mississippi river is pretty murky. Dude, now that like we grow and everything never knew how important like water, like in a sense dumb, how important water actually is. Yeah. Like the so, water here is horrible. I was about to say I never even asked. So that that tank that y- y'all have, is it like specially filtered or like is it just regular? Yeah, water? so it's RO water. That's reverse osmosis. So okay. you have what's called a TDS. That means a total dissolved solids. So that's like in in total what is in my water. Not counting the, just the liquid itself. Yeah. Right? So, like, in our water here, like, in, in Lubbock, we have, like, different salts and, like, calcium. Like, we're really high in salts. Our water is really hard. So, like, if you took, a, like, a shower and just normal well water without, like, mm-hmm. softener, right, your skin would dry out because mm-hmm. it's, like, technically just all, yeah. pretty much all salt. Um, so, like, what comes out of your faucet is, like, 1400 TDS, right? Okay. That's total, total dissolved solids. It goes through your RO system. So you have like a carbon filter and a sedimentary filter. Okay. So it runs through those. And like, we don't set it up. There's people who come and do it, but like something with like pressure and everything, like filters yeah. it well, that it runs through that filter long enough to get it all out. At the end of it going through that system, we come out with. 10 TDS. So you go from 1,400 to 10. Holy crap. Yeah, so it's pretty much just, like, pure water. Like, you could drink it. You could do whatever you want with it. So, like, the system we have is actually what's under a lot of people's sinks, Mm -hmm. right? Um, Like, it could be called, like, a big boy or a logic filter Yeah, is what, like, a lot of times they're called. But ours is just on a bigger scale. So, like, at the beginning... Um, before we got that, we had just like a kitchen sink big yeah. boy, and it would fill that entire tank. Oh yeah, it would it, <laughs> it would take forever. Yeah, you know. Um, but this one's a lot better because like we truly get RO water. Like those other filters, we had to change them out like every week because yeah. there's so much water going through it that it would like ruin the filters or whatever. But like on the flip side, like with like cannabis or like. Uh, if you like your home grower or whatever, if you're using RO water, you have to add all your macro and micronutrients back, which is like calcium, magnesium, iron. So like we spray like uh, cow mag or like we yeah. water cow mag in because that filter has taken out all those beneficial nutrients that is in your water. So like like a home grower probably doesn't have to use cow mag mm-hmm. because they're not going to be using RO water. They'll be using distilled water yeah. or just filtered water. You know, it the filters are not good enough to take out that stuff, you know. So that's the difference between ours and everyone else's. Um but doing like learning like how important like like okay, when you think of like watering a plant, you know, you think of oh like just water it when it's dry. Yeah. Right? Like, I think I finally learned that that is not how it works. Like, in, mm-hmm. in this new way, like, we're growing in, like, the rock pools and stuff. Yeah. You have um, what's <clears throat> called a field capacity. So, like, how much can that cube hold, right, mm-hmm. before it runs out? 
like does it expand the, the rock wall? No, but uh, Coco Core does. Okay, so Coco Core is just uh, coconut husks that are uh, grinded up, just shredded up, yeah. and then they press it for like shipping and everything. Oh, okay, so it comes in this hard brick uh-huh. type of thing, and then when that gets wet, it will expand. That's cool. Right? Um, so we have these bags called uh, they're called Flora Flex uh, Quick Fill. Mm-hmm. So we don't have to transplant anymore, which I'm like super excited about. Yeah, dude, that sucks. Yeah. Right? So this the container that it comes in. So you got your brick right, and it's wrapped with like a plastic or whatever. Uh-huh. The plastic is your pot. So you cut open the plastic, and then it folds out into a pot, right? Oh. And at the bottom you have this brick. Yeah. Right. You put your dripper in there. It takes around forty five minutes, mm-hmm. and then you you just keep the water on, and then it will fill it up of about a gallon of cocoa core, and then like that's what we'll use as um for like bloom stage. Cool. So cocoa is not like that's just a medium. It doesn't have any nutritional value. Like you can't put a put a plant in cocoa. And then, like, expect the plant to be like, oh, like, I have, I have so much nutrients. You yeah. know, like, you have to water it in compared to what we use now is just like traditional, like, potting soil mm-hmm. that comes with a lot of, a lot of nutrients. But we could regulate, like, way better with, like, this new way that we're going to. Cool. But, dude, it's wild. Like, it's, well, I am a nerd about it. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, man. Like, you have what's called a dry back. So, like, you water like you have eight stages of watering like the first part of the day it's like Mm -hmm. two hours after light to come on yeah right and then you have what's called your dry back which is i have like 98 percent saturation rate like in my cube or whatever i'm growing in right and i'm gonna let it dry back so you have like a chart if you had a chart here so i'm gonna water 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 and then i'm not gonna water and i'm gonna watch that moisture level come down all the way to like 32 percent Right. Mm -hmm. And like under 32 percent is like way too like way too dry. But so like you said moisture levels like as far as like the room. No. Or like the plant in your pot in your pot. Yeah. So um, you come up and then like you got your dry back. Right. That causes your roots to search. So like when roots come out the bottom or like Mm -hmm. what causes roots to expand is that you've let your plant get dry. Yeah. Right. Your plant is searching for water because, like, out, like outside, that plant will drill that tap root like yeah twenty feet into the ground if it has to. Mm-hmm. You know, especially around here, they'll go like twenty feet in the ground to search for water. Yeah. Right. And like, that's why, like, in trees, like the root system's huge, mm-hmm. and not only for searching for water, but like structure for like tipping over or something like that. That's like another reason we use the nets because. You have that tiny little pot, right? Those roots can't go out to search for anything to hold on to. Mm-hmm. So, like, even if we didn't bloom and, like, they had all the weight on them and fall over, they would fall over anyway. It's because they don't, the roots don't go out far enough. They're only, like, confined in that tiny little pot. They have nothing to hang on to. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I can't even imagine, like, uh, like here in, um, uh, what you call it, uh, Lubbock. How far do you think those roots go down in here in Lubbock for those trees? Dude, there's no telling. I'd say around like, like especially 30, for like the big feet. one. Like it, I guess. What's can do we have any like big big trees? Maybe like oak, I mean, like neighborhood oak trees and stuff, yeah. or like, but n- not like out in yeah. like, the fields or whatever. But like, I'd say around thirty forty feet, man. <sighs> That's crazy. Um, went to I went to Mexico one time for mm-hmm. for a wedding. And we went to this thing called a, a cenote. You know what a cenote is? I've heard of it's it. It's like an underwater, like, a cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, like, you get to walk in, and we were swimming in it. Like, it's literally like a swimming hole. Yeah. Right? And the water's, like, like 40 degrees. Like, it's it's freezing, right? And uh, so, like, you're swimming, you're swimming, and it goes down, like, 200 feet. Like, this guy, like, has a flashlight, and you have goggles, and they're like, yeah, now now look down. And, like, you look down, and you can, it's so clear that you could see his flashlight hit the bottom. 
and you can literally see like 200 feet down right and like they talk about like cave divers go in and like you're looking at the ground or whatever and there's like a lifeline yeah and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and like this just made me think about like how people grow now Mm -hmm. it's like so like you look up right roots have they are dangling from the top of the cap the cavern yeah and they are touching the water barely so they're feeding off of the water that you're swimming in and it's like giant root systems coming down from the top right and they're merging together like these roots have merged into a cylinder they're not like spread out like spider webs it's literally like a log full of stems and they're barely touching the water so they drink from that and that is what's called a deep water culture so that's like hydroponics, yeah. right? Yeah. So like you have a, a bucket that's filled up like pretty much all the way, mm-hmm. and your roots are just submerged in that, so you don't have soil or anything like that. But yeah, dude, that's where these plants get all so their guess, nutrients. So I guess what, if that water level goes down, they'll move farther down? The, the roots will grow more to where it follows the water. So that's like literally a natural hydroponic system. It's wild, dude. Yeah. So majority of the plants that are like in the jungle in Mexico actually feed off of cenotes. Wow, isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know that. And like, yeah, this is probably a stupid question, yeah, but do they? Can they like retract if they want to, like the roots? I don't think they ever would. Okay, like that's because like there, like in Mexico, mm-hmm. it's very like hard soil. Yeah. Like, and it doesn't, like, retain water very well. Mm-hmm. Like, I, w- I wouldn't think so. Yeah. You know? Um, so, like, if they were to pull back, they would just die. Like, you you know, or if you, like, went and chopped one of those roots, you would kill a good majority of that area. Yeah. You know? Um, but, no, like, roots always follow water, so I don't think they would ever retract. Oh. There's nothing in the water that's, like, deadly to them. Mm-hmm. It's literally, like, it's so pure. You know, there's nutrients in that water. So I guess that too, if they get deep, if they get, so if they get deep enough in water, those roots, uh-huh. do can they regulate how much water they take? Take in? in? Um, no, I, I don't know like too much about hydroponics, uh-huh. but, um, or the plant will, yeah, the plant will take whatever it needs. Okay. Yeah. So like, like your plant gets used to whatever you're growing in. Oh. So like. Our our watering schedules are like every day, you know. So like our plants know that water's coming, but like hydroponics, they know that they have water all the time. Mm-hmm. They don't have to worry about not having water. So if you like drained a pot that was like hydroponic, mm-hmm. right? You would just that plant would not know what to do at all because it's so reliant on moisture. You know, you're, you're like a hundred percent moisture rate all the time. You know, but um. We were, like, in the cenote, and, uh, dude, there's, like, hundreds of them. There's hundreds of these root systems around. That's crazy. It, it's nuts. Yeah. And, like, I don't know, it just makes you think of, like, plant life mm-hmm. and how, like, amazing it is in a weird way. And yeah. I'm, like, a nerd about it, but it's crazy, dude. Like, these plants are so resilient, just plants in general. Yeah. And, like, you would never know that they fight for that. Like, if you were just in the jungle... Like people don't ever think of it, but like you wouldn't think that there's a giant cavern underneath you that these plants have made a root colony yeah, to no. feed off of this body of water that's underneath yeah. you. And okay, so you have like the Ogallala uh, aquifer, yeah, that's underneath us. Like it spreads majority of the United States. Yeah. I bet there are some roots down there mm-hmm. that are doing the same thing. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how deep it is, but um. I bet there are some root systems that go, like, hundreds of feet. Yeah. I would say. But, like, that depends on, like, okay, like a a redwood red, redwood tree? Yeah, like, like the ones in California? Yeah, dude. Hun- I bet hundreds yeah. of feet into the ground. A tree that big. Those trees are wild. Yeah, dude. Uh, you, like, your root system has to be miles yeah. to, hold that, to hold that structure. And not just, like, multiple... Oh yeah, multiple of like just gigantic trees. Yeah, it's so crazy. And I, I feel like too, like, because there's thousands of those trees out there. Yeah, I honestly feel like they help each other. 
Yeah. Like they would grab onto each other's roots. That that ground is so dense from all these roots that like yeah. they ha- they already have a good foundation. Yeah, you know. But God, it's taken like hundreds and hundreds of years, mm. some like thousands of years to get that big. Yeah, which is crazy. I'll dude. drive through one. And have you seen that picture? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's so cool. I wonder how that works. Do you, like. Does it kill the tree? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I don't know if it like hurts the tree by them doing that, or if it if the tree's like fine if it can just survive. Yeah, it's like screw it, dude. Because I mean, like you think about it, it's still got like it's not like they take a whole like it's not like they're chopping the tree down mm-hmm. or whatever. They just cut like a hole because those things are f- massive, dude. Like they're the biggest plant life like yeah in the world. That would be like a that would be something I definitely would want to experience. I I think I've been, but I was like a little baby. Like I don't I don't remember at all. I don't think I've only been to like I think I've only been to California once, and we just did like the we were I had like my little brother with me, so we did like Legoland, Disneyland. Uh, mm-hmm. We went to Hollywood. Um, it was fun. Um, but yeah, I would never live there. I I would never live there. San Diego was awesome. Really, I love San Diego. It was so pretty. I want to go to California, dude. I've never like, I've been like when I was like super little, but it's like I don't remember, mm. you know. But I want to see the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, I want to see that. Like, dude, that is manpower right there. Yeah, like what people have built. Yeah. That is magnificent. Yeah. Crazy. God, dude, imagine building that thing, like. Especially imagine when they the, built it. Yeah, imagine the idea. The guy who like had the idea that he's like, hey, let's make this huge bridge that yeah. one day it will be moving thousands and thousands and thousands of people yeah. every day. So that makes, hold on. So with that, what does that make? San Francisco would be an island, right? If it, it I think it, so. It, yeah, yeah, it's an, it's an island, I want to say. If it like, if the Golden Gate Bridge like wasn't, I guess it still is an island, but. Hold on. see here is because that's where that's where Alcatraz is it's like right off the coast of San yeah. Francisco right mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah screw that escape from Alcatraz dude you're done you die would be... oh okay. I'm just dying of hypothermia or whatever I guess that's what you get from cold water but Hmm? Oh, I don't know. I don't think it's an island. I don't think. No, it is not an island, but there are islands connected to it. Like Okay. So like you have cities that like around are, it? Yeah, you have cities that are on islands, but I don't think San Francisco is an island. It's a cool city. It's a it, it's it's a wild city now. Oh yeah, you can do any kind of drug you want. Anything, man. Yeah, and an organ, like yeah, or whatever. But I mean, I feel like what was your what was it your uncle that was saying that like, uh, like going to San Francisco, you just saw people just trip balls. Oh yeah, well they they live in Oregon. Yeah. So yeah, he's just like dude, they're, they're like does he live in Portland, like or uh, by Portland, y- Eugene. Oh, Eugene. Yeah, they okay. live in Eugene. Where Oregon, Oregon, like Oregon University is. Yeah. yeah. The Ducks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, that place is cool. Yeah. The Oregon's kind of the same. Like, it's I same. I love the tree. Landscape. Like, I love the trees over there. Like, yeah. Like, the big, like. That's some dense forest. Yeah. Yeah, that's no joke. Yeah. But, I mean, like, all these places, I went when I was, like, super little, but I want to I wanna go back. Me too. I want to go, I want to go to that coastline. Mm-hmm. Because that's where uh, on like Highway One, just there was a Highway One, right? Highway that's where one. Goonies was filmed. Yeah, we went. We went there. Yeah, yeah. We went to the house so and everything. Yeah, I want to go there so bad. Um, the rocks that like they talk yeah. about that was on the beach that we were like staying on. That's cool. Yeah, like we it was like a family trip or whatever, and we rented this beach house and like yeah. we had like I don't know like. Ten bedrooms, like for this huge family, yeah. and literally, like there's a big window, and you could see the three formation rocks. It's called a, uh, it's called Proposal Rock. Yeah, and it's literally just this huge, kind of island, 
on like the mm-hmm. edge of the water mm-hmm. and like it, the waves crash on it and yeah. super cool coastline's gorgeous my my buddy's family they i guess they actually they try to go there every year they do um i think they not this past year but the year before that they went sturgeon fishing Dude, that do you know what the sturgeon is? Yeah, dude, that I want to do that. Those people, things are massive. People do it with fly rods. It's like a shark fish. Yeah, basically, that, that is a true dinosaur. Yeah, and they get like, what is it like twelve feet, fourteen feet long? Yeah, wild, dude. Yeah. And they sit in like rivers, like they'll chill in rivers, yeah. dude. That's like nuts. They're the, they're funky. I've looking. seen yeah, I've seen like plenty, like I've seen plenty of videos of people like. Because it's, like, when it gets, like, caught, like, it's like a swordfish. Like, it flails, like, out mm-hmm. of water. And, like, just seeing how big that thing is, just chilling in a river. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, screw that. Did that, like, is it, like, carnivorous or is it kind of, like... No, I think it's a bottom feeder. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I, uh, there's a fish, I don't know what it's called, but it's shaped the same. Like, their belly's very flat and mm-hmm. their mouth is, like, faced down. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know what the name so of the like, fish is. But, but I think they're in the same, like, family. Yeah. I don't think a sturgeon is, like, carnivorous. I bet they eat, like, fish. But, like, I don't yeah. think they, are like, have, like, teeth or, like, huge teeth or anything. Um, dude, I want to uh, I want to go see uh, the polar ice caps. Like, I want to see the ice caps, like, fall. Yeah. Like, I've always wanted to see that. I want to jump in that water, cool. too. Polar plunge? That's oh, a yeah. true that polar plunge. That is a true polar plunge. Yeah. I really want to do it. <laughs> it's so it's so crazy to me, like the uh, uh, like the Russians and the UFC or whatever, like mm. the Polish people or whatever. Uh, what's the what's that one guy's name? Is it Jan or Jan P- Peter Bla- Jan? No, Jan. Oh, is it the guy with the big the guy with the huge? Not movie? him, but uh, anyways, like oh, I know who you're talking about. I forget what. I don't know. The he guy was champion name. for a little bit. Yeah, uh, uh, he did like a he did a video of him just like just sitting there, he's stone face, just chilling, just stone face. I was like, that is so scary to me. In a lake. Yeah. Not in like a. Just cut a cut cut a hole out <laughs> yeah. with a handheld chainsaw and just. Yeah. Just jumped in. Yeah. I'd do it. Yeah. I wish. I'd buy money for ice. <laughs> it's, it's expensive. Have you done a polar, like a true polar plunge in like a... No. No? I was going to do one in Utah. But yeah. I ended up not. Yeah. That's just cold. It, yeah, it's quite chilly. And like, but one, I didn't, like Utah has a lot of rivers. I didn't want to get in a river. Mm-hmm. That's like scary. Yeah. Because then like if you whoop, get sucked, yeah. you're screwed, you know? Um, but I don't know, like, I've always wanted to go do a polar plunge, like, in, a, like, a natural setting or, like, mm-hmm. a quiet setting. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Like, just not, like, a frozen over lake, but, like, a, just a lake that's, yeah, water's pretty cold. Pretty cold. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it'd definitely be cool. Uh, there's, in Canada, there's some spots that you can do that. Really? Like, in Banff. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to go back to Banff. Banff is gorgeous. Like. The postcards or whatever mm-hmm. that they have, like, do not do it justice. It's really? crazy. Yeah, I've always wanted, like, I don't know. When you're, like, sitting in cold water, this sounds so, like, hippie. But, like, <laughs> dude, when you're sitting in cold water, I literally, like, I feel, like, like, I feel alive. It's weird. Like, I feel my blood pumping. Like I was about to say, you can feel, like, your body working. Y- dude, like, literally, it's working to a point that you're just, like, that you come to a quiet place. You go to some, like, quiet oh. realm or whatever. Yeah. And, like, everything's so calm and you feel a little warm. Mm-hmm. Like, like you oh, feel yeah. your body defending. And it's, yeah. it's, we- it's a, it is a cool feeling. Yeah. But before I get in, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I look at that. Dude, I'll already stare at that water for five minutes. I'm mean, like, <laughs> like, last time I went, I, I was with Kale. He, he's, he's my roommate. Uh, we're, we're sitting there, right? And Kale's uh-huh. like, just do it, dude. dude I'm like... Dude, I'm like staring at it, and I'm like, ah, like just having to jump in. You know that this is when it was like 10 degrees outside. Yeah. The the ice on it's like that thick. We'd like break it open. And I'm like, oh, dude, this is gonna suck. Like this is gonna be horrible. Yeah. And then, but it's like the first minute and a half. Like, is it, the first minute and a half is the hard part. Yeah. 
That's that's the hard part, you know, <gasps> that loss of breath. No, you literally get the breath taken out of you. Yeah, and like, like and you have to like fight to like breathe. Yeah, full breaths. Yeah, like, and it's like also like mental, like, like having to, like you have to control it. Like you have to be like, it's okay. Yeah, just breathe. Mm-hmm. Like that's a hard concept. Like, like you're like, oh, that's pretty easy. Yeah, it's no. not easy when the water's twenty four degrees. No, you know. Um, it feels so good after. Oh, dude, it feels amazing. And you're like, I did that. Yeah. My God, man. It feels so good. Um, but that's why I was doing it like in the other day. I did it in the snow. It's because <laughs> I was like, dude, during the summer, I'm just spending like $30 on ice. <laughs> I'm like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. So I've been doing it like every other day now. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Probably need to start doing that. I mean, I like, stopped, a, but I do like the uh, Cap Rock Family Farm CBD oil. And Blood. Caprock Family Farm C B D salve works wonders. Um but no I use that Body for butter. I use that for like my I use that for my back, but I I really like when so when I did the ice baths mm-hmm. uh and then also the sauna. New okay, not today. I'm leaving tomorrow. Damn. <laughs> you wanna do a sauna in the morning tomorrow? What time? Before work. Okay, again, the time. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, Where? Zach's Club. I always go to Zach's Club. I might. I don't know. I want to get in the sauna. I haven't gotten in the sauna in a while. Or, dude, I know somebody that they let me use their country club membership. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm That's walking crazy. around with a bunch of old men in the locker room. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, they have no fear. No fear. Nothing. The, yeah. Nothing on just walking around like, yeah, I'm the man. I've been here they 70 have, years. nothing to fear. Like, I've been here 70 years. I don't give a fuck anymore. I want to die already. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm a little boy compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Uh, but, yeah, you know, let's do a sauna. Okay. Are you willing to get up? Probably not, but I'll try. I'll text you. Yeah, just text me what time. Off this podcast, you'll probably be like, no. Nah. Text me what time. Okay. But yeah, well, what are um, we as let's say you want to wrap Ooh, it up. Ooh, perfect hour! Yeah, you pretty good. Yeah, what is it? Oh, oh, is it? Oh, I'm on episode one. Sorry. Wait, where is it? Press the button on top. No button on top. The power button on top. Okay, and then scroll. Should be okay. Yeah. So uh, Valentine's Day is coming up, and uh, for all of our customers at Caprock Family Farms, for Valentine's Day, you could use the code uh, "Be Mine" in all caps uh, to get was it twenty percent off of your next purchase. So uh, get your loved one a gift for Valentine's Day, and uh, wish you guys or treat yourself. Treat yourself <laughs> if you don't have a love in your life. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to be blunt, but sometimes it's true. Uh, some of us be really lonely. You gotta, uh, you gotta show yourself love. Uh, be mine, all caps. Twenty percent off your next purchase. So um, come back for the next one, you guys. Uh, had a lot of fun. Um, thanks, Luke. This yeah, was awesome. Man. It was a fun time. Fun yeah. time. So we will catch you guys later. Hold on, that's the heartbeat. <laughs> that one. This one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go.